So what goes in my camera bag for this trip? This has been a uh, challenging question over the last few months. And it starts with this backpack. This bag is the Peter McKinnon everyday bag. He makes a travel bag as well by Nomadic, and I own that bag, but that's not what I'm gonna carry in this trip because I'm not packing for that type of trip. I'm not throwing a hoodie in my bag and I really just want this to be what's on my back and I'll separately have a check-in suitcase and a small duffel style bag uh, that I'll carry. So we'll start with the top of the bag. And what you're not seeing here is my notebook that's in here along with a pair of headphones that I won't show you. But the first thing that you'll notice is this little section here with this battery case in it. So you can see three different batteries. There'll probably be one more by the time the trip comes, but I'm still using two cameras to create this video. So I'll probably pull one out and have one extra beyond what I already have. I think two extra batteries per camera feels about right to me. There's a little extra memory card in there. I don't need a lot of those. Uh, the first camera has two card slots. The second has one. One backup's enough. Four uh, cards that I can use in any of them feel okay to me. In the top section here, you're going to notice these Peter McKinnon variable ND filters. Yes, I have a Peter McKinnon obsession uh, and I buy everything he says, but these are also the best variable ND filters that I've ever seen. I showed these in an earlier video last month in the cool clip on on the back of them, uh, as well as how simple they are. So there's a two stop uh, ND filter and you're also going to see that six to nine stop ND filter in there. Going next to the actual main compartment, it has this section that you can fold down and put a little camera cube in. So you can see that sitting here. And I've got a few things in this section that I want to show you. Of course, we have a little tripod. And this tripod right here is made by Sony. It's their vlogger pod. It's small, it's portable, it's compact. It's not the best. I think the PGY Mantis pod is probably a little bit better. But this one is what I bought first. And there's no reason to go back and spend more money knowing that I already have this one in my bag. Underneath it, you're going to find this small microphone. This is the Sony microphone that I did a short on earlier in the season, uh, and it's really great, as well as something we'll come back to. The Sony a7R5. So this I really debated. I have the ZV-1E, which I'm shooting this video on, and that's a great video camera, and there's still a chance that I actually sub out this a7R5 for the Sony that you're seeing, uh, that you're seeing me shoot on right now. But I think the more that I've gone through how this is gonna play out, the video on the R5 is still fantastic. And the photography is just so much better that on the days I am using it in a hybrid mode, I wanna be able to flip and take photos that way versus using a smartphone to do that. And I think size-wise with the 35 millimeter 1.4, and I'll also take the 20 millimeter 1.8 off this camera and put it on here. I think I've got the solution that feels good for me. I'll leave the 85 at home, but I feel good about these two combinations as uh, my kit to take. Now I've got some extra travel gear up here. This is the Anchor Nano Power Bank, and this one's pretty cool because it's got a screen on it, two USB-C ports, both in and out, as well as a USB-A port, and it's like 160, 170 watts worth of power, I think, so it can charge my notebook, it can charge a video game console, it can do a lot of things and hold up under all that stress of a long trip. Now you see this rat's nest uh, worth of different neck straps. Uh, there's three in here. I'm only gonna take two when it's all said and done. Two of them come from Clever Supply, both a very long non-peak design uh, anchor point one. This is great for using like a crossbody style. And I've got a shorter 40 inch. I know that list is long on the Clever Supply website, but it's really not that long, uh, which is peak design and is great for carrying kind of right at the chest level. And then I have a separate road strap by uh, Little King Goods that I really like, uh, but I don't know if it's too short to carry on this trip. So I'm still debating how I go about that one. You'll also notice uh, this little Epica. I think that's the name of the company. It's a travel charger. And what's cool about this one is you kind of just tell it where you're going and it slides out the right plugs for your trip. I use the wire cutter, they suggested it. It's got USB-C ports, USB-A ports, and regular um, United States uh, 110 plugs in it, which is super great for a trip like this. And then is the point and shoot camera. And this has been an interesting one to think through. I have a lot of options. I have a Ryko GR3, which is an incredible point and shoot. It's really small. 
and the image quality is very good. I have a Leica Q2, which is probably the camera that most people would take on this trip. And I really do love that camera, but it does make you quite a bit of a target if you're carrying that around your neck. And so I'm a little hesitant to carry that. And then I've got an older camera, a camera that I bought in the end of 2019, sold and rebought. And that's the Fuji X100V. Now, you don't need my channel to tell you anything about this camera. Anyone that does anything in photography knows this camera, and anyone on YouTube knows this camera. But this particular camera, with the mist filter that I bought from Moment, it's the Cinebloom, just takes great JPEGs. The film simulations are fantastic on it. And size-wise, it's something I can tuck under a jacket on a crossbody strap and feel really safe carrying around with me. Uh, and so I think that's actually the one that's gonna go with me on the trip. I'm pretty excited about that being in my bag. Now on the top of the bag, there's two things up here. The first is just a bag full of cables. It's made by AER Air, and we'll probably review this in a different uh, video, but it's all of the cables and tools I need to take a trip. I take it with me everywhere. It's my go pack. I never take anything out of it. So whenever I go on a trip, I grab this. It's got everything I need to charge my watch, to charge my tablet, my smartphone, all the things uh, to get me going successfully. Backup hard drives, SD card readers, it's all the things that I need. And then lastly, this is an interesting new one to the kit. This is the ROG Ally. And this is a, it's a PC for gaming. It's made by Asus. And I'm thinking I'm gonna take it instead of the Switch or play Starfield. That might be a mistake. It's got a great screen and it's got a lot of game options. But maybe I'd be happier just taking this out. I think that's one of the things that I'm still debating on the way out. But right now, this is what's in my bag. You're seeing it with no case. I do have a case for it. I won't carry it just on the top like this, but I'm making a video, so this is the way it had to go. On the front of the bag, when you first saw it, you might have noticed that I have the Peak Design Capture Clip. And like I showed before, I have these Ulanzi anchor points, and these are great because they work with the gimbal for Ulanzi, but they also slide right into the capture clip. So they're a multi-standard, which is really, really cool for this purpose. And then I've got a couple other debates, like do I bring a lens hood? Do I narrow the kit a little bit more and not? But right now, that's what's in my camera bag. And I'm excited for the trip. I hope I've got everything I need. And I also hope I don't have too much. I guess we'll see how it unfolds as we get closer.